Okay, I'm back. I don't have much else to say about um, uh, bootloaders and MBRs, except when an MBR gets goofed up and you can't boot your system, one good thing to do, well, the first thing I should say is if you backed up your MBR, you've got a good copy of your MBR someplace, you still can't boot your system. But what you do there is boot the system with an OPIX a live distribution such as Nopix, then you can use the DD command to basically um, copy the backed up MBR back down onto your MBR. Everything works. You're back to back to ground zero. It will boot, your system will boot. Everything's cool. Now, if you did not back up your MBR, there are a couple DVDs out here that could save you. The one DVD is called Super Grub. And uh, that's version 0.8, or I don't know. That's an early version. I don't think it ever got up to version 1. Maybe it's version 1. And then there's an, um, a, and then they came out with Super, Super Grub 2. And all you have to do to get a copy of that is Google Super Grub or Super Grub 2. It's just a small Linux distribution, very small Linux distribution, each one of these. You burn them onto a DVD, and then you can basically boot your system off the DVD. And that comes up with a menu system that will read, um, among other things, it reads every bootloader that you have um, um, on your entire system, multiple disk drives, everything. And it will look for a, um, it will basically look for a place that it can use to boot your system. And then it will ask you, um, it will give you a chance to boot your system uh, using one of the, one of the um, um, bootloaders that is on your system, but apparently isn't connected to the MBR, said so you couldn't boot your system. Uh, and it will give you the option to actually um, repair your MBR and write a new B MBR with uh, that boot your system using um, whatever um, whatever boot uh, whatever partition you want to boot off of. And I've used that quite a bit, few times when I've screwed up Windows, you know, people's Windows. Um, uh, so after when I. When I fix their system, though, the system would no longer boot in Windows. Um, I've been able to fix that with no problem with uh, SuperGrub or SuperGrub2. I will say, a personal experience, they distribute both SuperGrub and SuperGrub2. They sort of tell you SuperGrub2 is better, but I've had a lot better luck. And been, um, well, I mean. But I've found SuperGrub to be more useful than SuperGrub2, so I hope they keep that for a long, long time. Um, OK, with that, that finishes up everything I had to talk to, uh, say about bootloaders. The rest of it is in the textbook. And um, so bye-bye. I will soon start up with um, um, section three, but that will be on another topic.